what's up everyone it's me farhan back here with another video and this video is going to be a bit tricky but very important for you and for your iphone now as you read the thumbnail in this video i am going to tell you how you can know your battery cycle count now if you know this count or the number that will be really helpful for you to understand your iphone usage and the battery health of your iphone so before we get onto this video, we should first try to understand the charging process of our iPhones, how lithium-ion batteries work, why Apple use lithium-ion battery in their phones, and the most important one, what is the charge cycle. So don't skip the video and I'll explain you everything one by one. So the first thing to understand is why Apple uses lithium-ion batteries in their iPhones. The lithium-ion battery in your iPhone uses fast charging to quickly reach 80% of its capacity and then switches to slower charging which helps to increase the lifespan of your battery. The amount of time it takes to reach the first 80% will vary depending on the device you are charging. And now what is a battery charging cycle? So Apple lithium ion batteries work in charge cycles. So you complete one charge cycle when you are used or discharge an amount that is equal to 100% of your battery capacity or in general terms when you discharge your phone from 100% to 0%. For example, uh, you might use 75% of your battery's capacity one day and then you charge your phone fully overnight. Now if you use so 25% of the battery next day, then you will have a discharge of total 100% which means that you have used 75% of the battery yesterday and 25% today and that total sums up to be 100% and this 100% is called one charge cycle. Now to know your battery cycle or count, you have to first go to the setting and then you have to scroll down to privacy once you tap on that you have to scroll down to analytics and improvement here you will see an option share iphone analytics now to get the battery cycle count you have to turn on this option so that the data can be shared with apple and your log can be generated but you have to wait for 24 hours to get that log generated and then you have to follow these steps again but if you have this option turned on, then you have to tap on analytics and data and you have to look for a log with the name log aggregated with the date in front of it. Which means that this particular log has been generated on 10th of April. Tap on the log and the log file will open in front of you. Now start selecting the log and for doing that just select the log and place this select cursor at the bottom of the bar and it will automatically start selecting the entire log. Otherwise. If you do it one by one, then there are chances of error that you will miss some part of the log and this process will not be completed. The cursor will automatically start selecting the entire log file for you and there are chances that some part of the log might still be left out. And for doing that, you have to just place the cursor and drag it down to the bottom of the screen and it will select the entire log file. Once it's done, copy it and open the notes app of your iPhone and paste the entire log file in that. Although it will take its time because the log file will be large and once uh, you copy the entire log file in notes app, tap on the done option in the top right side. Now tap on the arrow on the right side and a menu will pop up from the down and from that tap on find in note and now you have to type battery cycle count in that. Don't make the typo error, it's B A W T E R Y C Y C L E C O U N T and then tap on the search option. And as you tap on the search option, the magical and the hidden number will come right in front of you. And in my case, that number is 88. So 88 is the battery cycle count of my iPhone 11 Pro Max. The number 88 of the battery cycle count means that I have discharged my iPhone from 100% to 0% 88 times from the time it has been activated. I purchased this iPhone in November and currently the battery health of my iPhone is at 98%. And as we know that Apple says that you should change the battery of your iPhone once the battery cycle count reaches 500 or the battery health drop below 80%. But as my battery cycle count is at 88%, I have a long way to go in order to change the battery of my iPhone. But now you guys find out the battery cycle count of your iPhone and let me know down in the comment section uh, what is the battery cycle count of your iPhones. But if the battery cycle count is more than 500 cycles and the battery health is below 80% then it's time for you to change the battery of your iPhone. If you like the video so far then a sub to the channel would be massively appreciated. 
I have also tried this on my iPhone 5s and as you can see the battery cycle count of my iPhone 5s is 1126 which is a big number but I have changed the battery of this iPhone once. But this number is not of the original battery so you can use this method in any iPhone. I hope you like this video and if you do so do like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel and I will keep on bringing some more amazing stuff like this. My name is Farhan, this is iFrontech and I'll see you in the next one. Till then stay safe and stay at home and do help others as much as possible.